Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to tonight's program. Tonight's program is titled Salute to Our Veterans. I want to thank you all for coming. I would especially like to thank all of our veterans that are in the house. And um, that we'd like to just take this opportunity to thank you for your service and your commitment to our country. Tonight's classes will be Mrs. Beal, Mrs. Valpedio, and Mrs. Piper. I will mention uh, that we do have a couple of stand-in students uh, due to the nature of COVID and quarantines. We've got a couple of kids that are going to be doing some parts that they've only practiced a night or two. But they're going to step up and they're going to do that and we thank them as well. So we're going to have a couple of kids that, that aren't going to be in uh, the normal spots. But uh, they're going to do fantastic. Special thanks to uh, all of the first grade teachers. Whenever we put these programs together, it takes us quite a bit of maneuvering of the schedule so that we can do our practices and prepare for these. I'd also like to thank the custodians, uh, Mrs. Hayden, Kenzie Conrad, Ethan Trottier, Alicia Help, and the rest of the Columbia family, Andrea McKee. All of them have been helping to make this possible and to get your students prepared uh, to, to give a wonderful show tonight. I also would like to take this time to thank Mrs. McMillan, um, and the RHS Manitas. Uh, we have added a little bit to this program. I know some of you have seen this before, maybe from kids uh, prior, uh, or a, a veteran of the, uh, of the community that, that comes to this every year. And uh, the Manitas are gonna bring, uh, they're, they're from the high school, and uh, they bring in a, a special part of this program this year, uh, and we're real excited. Well, we were hoping to have this up at the courthouse. We've never done it up at the courthouse. Clearly the weather did not uh, cooperate and uh, we will try again next year. So even if you don't have a kid singing in it next year, remember during Veterans Day that we do this every year. Come hang out at the courthouse if we're doing it there. Uh, I think it's something that, uh, that you'll appreciate every year to see the kids do a fantastic job. I'd also like to thank uh, Monica Clennon and the members of the American Legion Honor Guard who are seated over here, and uh, they will be uh, part of this presentation as well. We greatly appreciate them and their service. After the program tonight, uh, we typically have uh, our Columbia PTO tree, and it is in the cafeteria, which is directly behind me. So feel free to go down there. They're having an ice cream social. Uh, if you would like to be a part of that, you're welcome to grab some ice cream on your way out. And parents, we ask that at the end of the program, if you could please just remain seated until we dismiss you. Um, what we like to do is get all of our kids into their classrooms, back into their classrooms, and have parents go pick them up there instead of uh, parents grabbing the kids, not grabbing them, but I mean getting the kids, um, you know, in the hallways and stuff, just so we can maintain accountability and make sure that uh, the kids are all accounted for and are with uh, an adult on their way out and, and taken good care of. So if you could just hang tight, I will dismiss you after we get them off of the stage and to their classrooms. So, uh, the, because of the copyright of some of the music and some of the things that we do, uh, we ask that if you take any pictures or video, that you utilize those for your own personal use only and that that's not something that's shared, sold, or put on social media and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'd like to thank RTC for coming out. They come out every year. They videotape all of our programs and they make available to you in, in a week or two. Uh, check their website or contact them. Uh, you can buy a DVD, per, a DVD version of this uh, for your own use and uh, it's a really nice thing that they do for us. So we, we greatly appreciate that. Lastly, I would just like to take this opportunity as you see these kids coming up to thank Mrs. Weaver. Uh, for all of her time and effort that she puts into this. When school starts in August, about day three, she shows up in my office. She said, hey, we gotta start talking about that Veterans Day concert. And we start planning it in August. And it takes uh, a lot of time and work. I have actually been down there and covered some of her classes recently. And so she could do her thing here. And um, we, I was teaching kids how to sing Christmas songs because of the next concert that's coming up. And 
and there's a lot of preparation and a lot of time put into it. And um, I, I, I can just tell you that Mrs. Weaver does a fantastic job. You're, you're going to see right now if you've never seen one of her performances. But Mrs. Weaver, are you in here? We will recognize her at the end as well. We always do. But I wanted to be uh, just a personal thank you to her, the time and the effort that she puts into it. And I hope you all enjoy this. Uh, very special night tonight, uh, being Veterans Day. And I will just tell you that uh, you're about to see something uh, fantastic. And uh, it, it's very moving. And uh, I appreciate everybody's time and energy. I will turn this over. I know you guys don't want to hear me talk anymore. Salute to our veterans.
Thank you, Miss Papilla's class, for doing the sign language for that song. And thank you, Miss Hayden, for teaching the sign language. November is a perfect time for us to show gratitude to those around us. It is also the perfect time to be thankful for our country and all the freedoms and rights that we have. Please listen as we share with you the song, It's Thanksgiving Time, featuring Angel, Calvin, Liberty, and Claire.
country. There are 50 stars that represent the 50 states that make the United States. There are 14 red and white stripes for the 14 original colonies. Red is for courage, white is for beauty, and blue is for justice and vigilance. Please stand as we honor our flag as these men and women from the American media meet us in flag holding cell. Flag folding ceremony represents the same principles on which our country was originally founded. The portion of the flag denoting honor is the canton of blue containing the stars representing the states our veterans served in uniform. In the armed forces of the United States, at the ceremony of retreat, the flag is lowered, folded in a triangle, and kept washed throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The next morning, it is brought out, and at the ceremony of reveille, run aloft as a symbol of our belief in the resurrection of the body. The first fold is a symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in the eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of a veteran departing our ranks who gave a portion of life for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world. The fourth fold represents our weaker nature. For as American citizens trusting in God, it is to him we turn in times of war for his divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country, for in the words of Stephen Decatur, our country, in dealing with other countries, may she be right, but she is still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is where our hearts lie. It is with our hearts that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces, for it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and the flag against all her enemies. Whether they be found within or without the boundaries of our republic. The eighth fold is a tribute to the one who entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day and to honor mother for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood, for it has been through their faith, love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great have been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to Father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold in the eye of a Hebrew citizen represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon and glorifies in their eyes the God of Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold in the eyes of a Christian citizen represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies in their eyes God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost, reminding us of our motto, In God We Trust. After the flag is completely folded and tucked in, 
It takes on the appearance of a cocked hat, ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and Marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones, who were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States, preserving for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today. Our next song is an American treasure that comes from our first American conflict, the American Revolutionary War. The special dance is being performed by the students in Miss Piper's class. We would like to show special tribute to each of our branches of our military. We will be, we will be singing the Armed Force Medley and would ask if that you served or are serving in that branch as we sing your song. Please stand to be recognized.
draw your attention up to the screen. This song we're going to do honors, oh gosh, I can't do this up right. Honors those people that have served our country that have direct connections with Columbia School.
we bring our tribute to a close, we would like to thank all of our vets and all of you who have come to help us celebrate these brave men and women. Please listen as the Rochester High School Minotals under the direction of Mrs. McMillan sings God bless the U.S.
like to thank everybody for coming this evening. I told you before we started that this is going to be a special treat. And if that didn't warm your heart and make you proud of our country and of our kids and our teachers that uh, work so hard with our students, Manitas, you guys are welcome back anytime. Mrs. McMillan, thank you so much for being here. Kids, I am very proud of you. You guys did a fantastic job. You represented our school well, like you always do. You look amazing. Let's give them a round of applause for all their help. <laughs> Mrs. Weaver, thank you. This was a, a tremendous evening this evening and uh, very special for everybody here. I will dismiss you all here shortly. Uh, we're going to get the students off the stage and headed back to their classrooms. But the last thing I'd like to just close with is a heartfelt thank you to every veteran in here. I know the kids came up and saluted you and recognized each one of you for your service. And uh, there's, there's a brother and sisterhood um, that, that we all feel and that we're all a part of. And I'd just like to thank you uh, for doing such a fantastic job in your careers and taking very good care of our country. Uh, we're very blessed in, in, our, in our country and in our community. And I just want to take in this moment and thank each of you that have, have served our country. And uh, I'm, I'm, it's hard to put into words. So I'll quit talking. Thank you very much for coming this evening. Happy Veterans Day. Veterans, thank you again. And uh, if you guys just want to have a seat for just a moment, I will dismiss you here shortly. Don't forget there's ice cream in the back or in the cafeteria. Oh, yeah. Uh, we will dismiss shortly.